Hey YouTube! Today we have easy animation. Oh yeah, as Mercedes would say. <laughs> oh, ee ho, hee ho, cheeky cheek in a big bowl. Like chickens, like to hatch some eggs to eat them up, eat them up, poke a I love some Chucky. All right, guys, welcome back to the Timmy Tube Network. And today we have some easy animation that we did in uh, Adobe Photoshop and Premiere. Um, and it's for a video that I'm going to release on Friday on a channel called Kids Trucks. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for that channel. So this Friday, you can look and see the finished video. But anyway, I um, basically um, did some animation, uh, took some still photos using my camera. Uh, I also used a, uh, um, a tripod with a clamp on it to hold. Here, let me just show you what I did with that tripod. So as you see, that um, little car, I was digging through my son's old toys and I found this really cool monster truck and that's what I decided to make the cartoon about. Um, and the cartoon builds the truck and blah, blah, blah. But I'm gonna show you how I did it. I animated this little toy. I'm gonna go through the steps and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And uh, so without any further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, now, uh, the first thing I did was of course I recorded just three seconds of each view of the car the left side the right side uh the um top and back and front in case i wanted to do a front shot um let me just go show you those videos uh that i took of the vehicle here's uh the top recording uh let's see here is the side recording and I took the wheels off so I could build this in the uh, animated video. So there's the side. Here's the front. Uh, and uh, here's the other side. So anyway, so I, I recorded a short recording of each. And then I would open them up in... Um, uh, Photoshop. So let me go ahead and open that in Photoshop so you can see the video in Photoshop. You see that's just a, a short thing. So then what I did is I went up here to File, Save As, and I saved it as a JPEG. And you can see the JPEGs right here of the Save Different Shots. So then I took those shots and I actually opened them up into Photoshop and cleaned them up. So let's go ahead and open up those uh, files. Um, let's do the right. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what it looked like. So here is the actual JPEG of JPEG still of the video and I cleaned it up and you can see that I took out the background uh, I used the uh, magic wand tool and I just took out the background to make it um, transparent and then I saved it as a Photoshop document and uh, let me go to the Photoshop document so you can see uh, where is it? Right here. And right here. So you can see I got the truck body, I got the truck frame, right? And so on. So then once I saved all those Photoshop files of the different views of the car, I went ahead and opened up Premiere. And um, 
Let me find that uh, folder. And you'll see here. Now, let me pull this over so you can see the actual the actual uh, video of it. But what I'm going to do is um, I added some mud coming out the back. You can see there, you see the mud. But what I did was I... Um, So there's the body, and I put it on a green background this time. You can see here on the, the bottom layer is a green background, and the reason is if I would have used blue, over here the blue in the windows, they're actually blue windows, and you can't see through them, so I didn't want a puppet to be in there. Um, so I had to make the background green, because if I made it blue, then it would make these transparent. Um... And I didn't want the windows to be transparent uh, because they're not transparent. So anyway, I used the um, green background with the photoshopped of the body of the car. And you'll notice here, um, you'll notice over here, you can see that I added a wheel on the other side and added a wheel on the other side on this side and the reason why i did that is because it may gave it a um a, sort of like a 3d view where you can see both wheels so um but if you notice here i'm just going to move i basically guessed where that wheel would be um and i positioned it where i thought it you know would go here underneath that one layer so there you can see the bottom layer you got the green layer you got the wheel layer and then you've got you got the wheels and then you have the body on top of the wheels you see there now these wheels here I actually used brightness and contrast and I brought them the color of them down I made them a little darker and that's because they are shadowed by the vehicle itself uh, let me just show you see how that's lighter because if the Sun was shining on it it would be lighter and this would be darker underneath the vehicle so that's what I did there so um, uh, that is the animation so uh, let's just look at the animation and see how it plays. You can see it's just the wheels rotating on both sides, under you know, the ones in the back. And I did make the ones in the back slightly smaller because in, in the reality of it, when you're looking, it, these would be closer to you and the wheels on the bottom layer would be further away. So being that the thir uh, further away, I just um, went up here to the scale and you can see they're 54 and these are 56 so just two points of scale for the wheels so then I went up and I hit export media and I chose H264 and then I rendered it in HD 1080p 29 frames per second so once I exported it, then I was able to use it in an animation. So um, let's just go view. Uh, well, you saw the mud there. There was one scene where the actual vehicle is going. It's actually doing a hill climb, and it's climbing up the hill. But, of course, if you ever notice cars or vehicles that go up hills, they spin a lot. So that's just throwing some dirt. Now this little AVI of dirt here was something I created in After Effects and you can change, let me just show you one. You can move this around, you can put it anywhere you want, you can change the opacity and stuff, but if you look, 
this AVI is actually on a black screen and I just used the color key and I sampled it and I was able to take out the background. So now we have all the stuff there, um, you know, for the animation. So now that I've rendered that, uh, let's just open up a sample project. Um, here is the actual um, of it being built. So you can see that I had the I had the frame come down, and then I had the wheels come down, and then I had the body come down, and then that's the little build animation. <laughs> so that's the little animation for the build. Now let's open up um, a simple animation using the vehicle um, and here you can see the vehicle is just driving down the road you see there and how I did that was up here in the I used keyframes to move that vehicle and of course you know it's on green so when I use the color key and sampled the back I could take out the background of that vehicle and with the um, the keyframes up here in the timeline or in the effects timeline, I was able to have that little vehicle move across the screen like that. You see there? And um, up here I had some people. Um, you can see these people here. I put those people in there and just had them move across the screen. So that is the um, little animation there that I did. And you will, like I said, you will be able to see it on Kids Trucks. There will be a video link or a link to the channel because the video will not be uploaded till Friday in two days. So if you wanted to see the entire video, um, being that the windows were not transparent, I actually had to make a fake interior of the car so let's go down here and I'm going to show you this it's not very good I did it on the fly um, but it is cute I, I like it and um, and I'll, I'll show you that here's the inside let me open it up in Photoshop there <laughs> there's the inside of the truck and all I did was use the color palette tool over here and I sampled the color of the car and kind of made a interior with a seat um, you know it's it's pretty lame but it serves a purpose and you know kids use their imaginations anyway so uh, there's the interior of the car um, let me just pull up um, uh, let me pull let me uh, close out Photoshop and I'm gonna pull up the actual video um, okay here we go and this is the actual file um, What there is, is a, I must have hit something again. I'm gonna take a look at it down there. <laughs> so anyway, that's some of the sample. I added, of course, the uh, the engine sounds, and you know, there's some more of that AVI mud. So anyway, guys, that is a simple animation uh, from start to finish of how I made this little vehicle here. I hope you liked it. So uh, yeah, that is that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, do this, do that. Make sure you click the this and you click that and you do all this stuff to stay <laughs> updated with our newest videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed it.
Um, and if you have any questions about how I do things in Photoshop or Premiere, put a comment down below and let us know, you know what you would want to see or a question you may have, and we may do a video of it. So anyway, guys, until next time, here on the TimmyTube Network, we'll see you later. <laughs> jing, jing -bong, jing -bong, jing -bong, jump. I love some chucky. I like beef chucky. Beef chucky. Beef, 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 beef chucky. Beef, beef, beef chucky. Beef, beef, beef chucky. Beef, beef chucky. I like a big fat beef chucky.